Slot 1 motherboards are one of my favourite types of motherboard. When buying a slot 1 motherboard, a lot of people don't take into consideration what chipset it uses. On a slot 1 motherboard, the chipset is one of the most important parts. Not only does the chipset determine what CPU you can run, or how much RAM you can have, and the compatibility of the AGP bus, but it also determines how fast your system can run. There are five main chipsets used in slot 1 motherboards, so today I will tell you all about each one of them, their features and flaws, and what is the best slot 1 motherboard chipset. Let's get started. Firstly, let's look at where it all started, the Intel 440FX chipset. This chipset was used in some Pentium Pro motherboards, but mainly in the very first slot 1 motherboards. It was introduced on the 6th of May 1996. The chipset only supported a 66 MHz frontside bus and had no support for AGP or SD RAM. It had support for Pentium Pro, Pentium 2 and Celeron CPUs and it only supported up to 1GB of EDO DRAM. This chipset was good for its time but I do not recommend it for a vintage computer since it has no support for SD RAM or AGP. Next up is the 440LX chipset. Introduced on the 27th of August 1997, it was considered a much needed upgrade to the previous 440FX chipset. This chipset was also only used in slot 1 motherboards. It still had a 66 MHz front side bus, but introduced support for AGP 2 times and up to 1GB of SD RAM. It had support for Pentium 2 and Celeron CPUs. The 440LX is a solid choice for building a vintage computer, but I wouldn't recommend it unless it's your only option, or you aren't looking for performance. The next few chipsets are going to be a lot better and will be more enjoyable to use. Next, we have the 440EX chipset. The 440EX chipset was released in April of 1998. It supported a 66 MHz front side bus and still used AGP two times. It had support for the Pentium 2 and Celeron CPUs. This chipset is very similar to the earlier 440LX chipset, but this one only supported up to 256 MB of SD RAM. It was meant to be a cost reduced and revised version of the 440LX chipset. Avoid this chipset if you can, because it will not support any more than 256 megabytes of RAM. If you really want a chipset of this spec, just get the 440LX instead. Overall, I would not recommend this chipset to anyone. Avoid it at all costs. This next one is special, the legendary 440BX chipset. The 440BX chipset was introduced alongside the 440EX chipset in April 1998. The 440EX was the budget one. This one was the flagship chipset. Supporting a frontside bus of 66 and 100 MHz, this chipset was already a lot better. It supported up to 1 GB of SD RAM, specifically PC66 and PC100. It also supported AGP two times. This chipset also supported Pentium 2, Pentium 3, and Celeron CPUs. The real feature with the 440BX was not just all these new things, but also its new overclocking capabilities. Depending on your motherboard, you could overclock the front side bus and run a Pentium 3 with a 133 MHz front side bus. You could also run PC133 SD RAM with overclocking. The 440BX chipset is the best slot 1 chipset ever. This is a chipset I would recommend to anyone who wants to build a vintage slot 1 computer. It was very popular in 1998 and is still very loved among retro computer enthusiasts. You can never go wrong with the 440BX chipset. Lastly, we have the 440ZX chipset. This was the last chipset used in slot 1 motherboards. It was released in November 1998. It supported a 66 and 100 MHz frontside bus and had support for SD RAM, 
specifically supporting PC66, PC100 and PC133 with overclocking. It supported Pentium 2, Pentium 3 and Celeron CPUs. It was introduced to be a cost reduced version of the 440BX chipset, but it wouldn't last long because the 440BX chipset was king. It was mainly used in office or budget computers and was not common among computer enthusiasts. I would still recommend this chipset, however. It is still quite good if you just want something simple. So in conclusion, I recommend the 440LX, the 440BX and the 440ZX chipsets. If I had to rank them, I would say the 440BX is king, closely followed by the 440ZX, and then the all right 440LX chipset. Just avoid the 440EX and the 440FX chipset. They are just not that good compared to the others. I hope you found this video useful in determining the best slot one chipset and I hope you enjoyed it.